Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTubers. This is Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon. A few days ago, I had made the comment that all oh, self propelled lawnmowers always break down and they're. I'd rather just have a push mower. I take back every bad thing I ever said about self propelled lawnmowers. Even though those front wheels, those are the drive wheels, are bare, you can barely see the, you know, they used to have treads like the back ones. They're spun off. But it's a snapper. I'll tell you what, it fired up, sounded great, ran great. The front wheels, the height adjustment is there, but the back's not, so whatever, it still ran. And I started walking behind that thing, and I kept walking, and I kept walking, and I kept walking, and kind of like the Ever Ready Bunny. Once I got started, I just kept going, but I hadn't fired it up until the heat of the day. So I went way beyond what I should have, but I got quite a bit done. I got um, up into there, around that pallet. I did a few runs around the perimeter of the cabin. I went all the way up the roadway. Got this cleared, mowed. All the way around this burn pile. Now I gotta, I don't know how heavy that thing is. I haven't tried it yet. But I need to get that cedar log away from this burn pile. Yeah, I can do that myself. Okay. I was if it was oak or hickory, it might be another story, but I'm good. Okay, I got a picaroon, which I meant to show you the other day. So I got this side of the cabin. Still got to get that cleaned up. That'll be my next project because the, uh, let's see, that's the east, the west side I already got. So. Looks good there. Sorry for the noise, truck going by. Got this all mowed. And what really looks good is the driveway now. Went all the way up to the gate. Which you can't even see, it kind of curves around there a bit. And I'm not gonna walk up there. So, very cool. Like I said, I made a few passes around, but basically did the, kind of the edge. Protecting and preparing the homestead for occupancy. Got a burn pile ready to go there. Leaves are raked up. I'll weed whack this, I don't need to mow it. And I cleaned up, um, both sides of that wood pile that was tarped over. A lot of leaves and debris on it. Try not to ever put wood on the ground. That's just counterproductive. You spend a lot of time, gas, danger to cut it and to split it. Don't put it on the ground. It's just totally absurd. Like this stuff's all rotting. Even up to the top it's rotting. And then I figured out that this long pallet will fit, I mentioned that the other day, yesterday, whenever it was, that pallet will barely fit in between that tree and those stumps there. So I may, I don't have anything to cut and that's hickory. There's no way I can cut it with anything I've got. So one way or another I'll block it up or do something and make it fit. Even if I have to go off to the side on that end a little bit. So anyway, there you go. Um, I mentioned pickaroons, but I'll get that to another, get to that another time. So, or maybe I'll just wander over there and get it. All right. I have with me two pickaroons, and pickaroon is like a, you'll see it, kind of like an axe, a sharpened axe with a sharp tip. And it's what I was going to say when I was talking about puncturing that tub with the sawdust in it. This was my weapon of choice. Notice how that's very sharp. 
It's got like a duck bill or a bird predator like beak on it. And you can smack that into a log, a pretty good sized piece of firewood, and pick it up and carry it. Sometimes it's a bit hard getting it out, but it works. Okay, now this one has about the exact same configuration of handle, but that head is a whole lot heavier. And it's not very sharp. So I want to get a grinder on that and grind that down and sharpen it up and make it look like the other one. Take a lot of the weight off in the belly of it and the bottom of it, the curved part. And um, make it look like the other one. The other one is a phenomenal piece of work. You can swing it fast. See that one you can't swing very fast because of that. And the handles are... Oh, I had to do it. That's what I thought. The lighter one's a bit longer handle so you get better swing on it too. So I want to take that bigger one down to where it's a little bit more like, a lot more like <laughs> the one on the left. Alright, so Picaroo, very important. Now the nice thing about them is they extend your reach, so if you're getting into a wood pile, I will use it a lot on this big wood pile so that I don't have to get near the wood pile as much and um, take a chance on, you know, having a snake issue or a bug issue, spider issue of any kind. So I hung one tarp up over there for the wind and the rain to clean it off. And then um, put the other one over there just for the same reason, not because to cover the wood pile, but just to get it up where the wind and the rain can clean it off a little bit. And then um, I'll put it back. So, like I said, that structure there, I think, is, would be good for a... Uh, and some wood firewood in it, but also a bath and shower house if I don't get my tent over here. So, anyway, this is Jerry Diamond. If you're listening to this, you are the remnant. Come on out and help people. You know, that's all I'm doing. People ask me, a couple of my subscribers ask me, Oh, so you bought land? You bought... No, I didn't buy land. I don't have the capability to buy land. I'm just helping people that have already bought land. Am I getting paid? No, I'm not getting paid. So I'm just doing it because it needs to be done. Um, so there's so many widows down here that have bought land and cannot do anything with it because they don't have the capability, the physical strength, the knowledge, the know-how. They don't know what they're doing. This, I guess I said, Hugo culture, yeah. But how do you move three or four cords of wood that's rotting, literally rotting into the ground? That's a Hugo culture. But the only thing that's going to be grown is bugs and ticks and chiggers and snakes. Um, yeah, we could grow food there, but it's just, I don't know. I'm pondering on it. Pondering on it. You know, if we could toss it nearby, but this is a driveway. Uh, there's a brush pile in there I just noticed. Okay, so if we cleared out in there Maybe just throw it over there. I could physically throw it over there and Build a huge culture there and have some plants growing. I don't think that may be the As I'm thinking here that may be the uh, solution So much of this is hickory and there's no not that many oaks and I don't see really Farmer oak trees look it up if you can anyway blathering here so that little fan was given to me by little Haley four-year-old Bill got them for her and one of them broke and she gave me there was a pink one that broke and the, she gave me the blue one and it actually works I've got it on a post so I need to get a little bit more vertical and it blows in the wind so anyway all right nice uh Good, good cover compost there for garden and whatnot. Hey, that's an idea. Hmm. Put those logs over there near that thing where it'd be easy to. Yeah, that might be. I'm still thinking on it because I hate to burn that much. 
wood. And there is some good firewood in there, but not a lot. But the rotting stuff would be good for Hugo culture. All right. Thank you. This is Jerry Diamond. Bye.